All right, Justin Bowles and I spent this morning catching speckled trout. Really, really good bite. We went exploring, looking for areas for him to take clients. And maybe our third or fourth stop, we found a bunch of speckled trout. If you haven't seen that video yet, go check out my last video. You get all the details there. But we've decided to spend this afternoon targeting redfish. Justin found a pond on a map, had one bayou leading into it, and it kind of just uh, is an enclosed pond with some little trinasas coming into it, little marsh drains. So we're gonna hit that now and try and catch some redfish. Got some pretty good conditions today. The wind is picking up a little bit. It's not too bad though, maybe five knots. And we just pulled into this pond and the water looks pretty good. So I definitely like our chances. Water's good. Not grass. Oh, a, oh, you gotta be kidding. Oh, there you get off. How'd you miss it? I don't know. He hit it good? Yeah, he hit it good. He smoked it. Yeah, that's what I'm throwing is mono. I hate it. Oh, there he is. There he is. Speckled trout. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Speckled trout on a spinnerbait. Not what we came in here for, but it's definitely a nice fish. And we will take him. All right, there we go. Speck? Red? <laughs> Not the biggest, but you think he's 16? All right, Justin and I are both throwing spinner baits. I've got the thin wire H and H Gold number four spinner that I love. Team with a quarter ounce death grip jig head and a shrimp creole matrix shad which is kind of my go-to particularly when the water is nice and today it's pretty good it's not bad at all yeah this delta one's a little heavier wire but it's not like super heavy yeah, this episode of marshman masson is brought to you by puglia sporting goods there he is there he is. That's a keeper red. Uh, I'm going to try and flip him. I'm using mono, but we'll see. Might regret it. I knew there had to be one in there. Yeah, too pretty. It's falling tide. Come on, dude. Come on this way. Oh, you won't break me off now, redfish. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's one back there. Yeah, you got him. There you go. Nice. What you got? Mono, you want me to net him? Nice. Good 23, 24 incher. Justin and I could see some fish working back here. One of them we cast to as he moved off out of the area, but this one he saw off to the, we got a bunch of snot grass you can see on the surface right here. He was just running along the side of that. Justin cast to him and, and got him to eat. Definitely keep a fish. It's thick with snot grass in here. It makes it tough to cast. It's a little shallow. Oh, there he is. That's not a keeper, but it was a fun hit. You're gonna get to swim off, big boy. Oh, goodness. 
Boy, he ripped the rod out of my hands. You got me feeling it big now. Speckle trout. Look at that. Another one. Dude, how crazy is that? Like sometimes with braids, you can kind of pop it through grass. Oh, yeah. Like Mono, you don't know. Uh -uh. By the time you feel it, it's too late. What made you spool up a mono? I uh, had a top water on this. Oh, okay. I like this rod for spinner bait. I got gotcha. you. Got him? Got him? See a netter, Justin? No, I don't. I can't tell with this line. <laughs> I think he's a small keeper. That might be an undersized fish. There's another one playing off that point. I think he's under. What do you think? I'm saying 15 and a half. Oh, goodness. <laughs> right on that point, Justin. I think he's, I think he's big enough. I think he's barely gonna make it. Dude, believe it or not, this fish makes it. Is that one moving in there? Get him, Justin. Damn it, he turned to get it and it got in the grass. Oh. He's still right there. Where is he? You still see him? No. See, he's too mullet. Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. Oh, I see him. Oh, man, that's a brute. That was a beast. In the snot. It was a stop sign. He turned on it, too. Yeah, you get any snot on there, you can forget it. They laugh at it. Oh, there he is. There he is. That's a good fish, Justin. I got him on a thin wire spinner. I'm going to let him take what he wants. It's a big fish. Look at him. That's a big fish. Look, he's stuck in no water. Look, he can't even swim. <laughs> I'm not going to horse you, big boy. You just got to wear yourself out. So pretty. And that's shallow water. Let me get down. I'd say 25, 26. Got the power poles. Come on. All right. Pretty, huh? Big fatty. Look how pretty he is. All lit up. Excited about eating. Now Justin and I have come to a different pond. We caught a bunch of fish in that first pond. It's the first time Justin's ever fished it. Definitely didn't want to clean it out. It's a place he can take clients. So we've come to another pond. We're just kind of exploring this one, see if they got any fish in here. And Justin looks like he's got one on him. Oh, he missed it. He was on it. Now we definitely found a key in that other pond was fishing around snotgrass. Snotgrass is that nasty algae stuff that just clings to your bait and you can't get it off or anything. You gotta pick it off. It's the only way to get it off. Redfish, love it. This episode of Marshman Masson is brought to you by Matrix Shad and by Versamax Corks and by Bill Lewis Lures and by SportsmansOutfitters.com and by Death Grip Jig Ends. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. That was awesome. I saw him a split second before he hit it. <laughs> Come on, big boy. I think you're a team maker. 
Yeah, you're a teammate. You're about 18 inches. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Come on. Come on. You done? Let's go. Let's go this way. Oh, you're bigger than I thought you were. You're about 20 inches. He came charging out that Trinas. Oh, yeah, he came charging out. I saw him just split second before he hit it. My dedicated spinnerbait rod is spooled with 17 pound test mono, and that's what I started the day throwing, but it's really not a good fit for these redfish. When I broke that fish off, I switched over to my jigging rod, my medium heavy Pro TI. It would be a terrible spinnerbait rod fishing bass, but for fishing these reds, it works out really well. Obviously reds have very tough mouths. They're very powerful fish. Gives you more backbone for fighting those fish and you don't have to worry as much about losing them. And of course on this, I've got spooled up a 30 pound braid with a 30 pound fluoro leader. Dude, you gotta be hungry, huh? Did you bring anything to eat? Yeah, I got some snacks in there. Oh, there he is. Is that a trout? I think it's another trout. It sure is. It's a nice trout too. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Third trout today on a spinnerbait. Fishing ponds. Not bad either. A 16 inch fish. I think it's a spinnerbait, to be honest. I'm telling you, when I fish these thin wire spinners, next to somebody throwing a thick wire spinner, I always outcatch them. And I mean, it's just spinnerbait fish. It's not like I'm doing anything different. I think they just put out more vibration. I tell you what, all three of the trout I caught hit 400 times harder than any of the reds I caught. Like crazy. Oh, there he is. That's a red, that's not a trout. Got more of these spinners. <laughs> Everyone's always a skeptic. Can't make that big of a difference. Oh, there he is. Oh, I think you're a red. Thought you were a trout for a minute. He is a trout. Look at that. Give me one of your exact seven. Number four. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna catch a limited trout on spinner baits. Man, what a great day fishing under incredible conditions. Didn't have much of a tide. That's about the only thing we could say about today. Didn't seem to matter though, the fish bit really well. Speckled trout in the morning, we capped it off with a bunch of redfish and even some speckled trout this afternoon. Well, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the Marshman Massaw channel on YouTube. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to so be notified whenever we post a new video. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, we'll see you right here on Marshman Massaw.